Are you looking for an Arch Linux-based distribution that's built with an understanding that people want and need a solid operating system that provides a full breadth of functionality and ease of use without sacrificing aesthetics? It's offered in three editions, Desktop, Desk Pro, and Developer. It can be permanently installed as a robust and fully configurable system or run from a live USB. Comes with the most up-to-date kernel, always current versions of a wide variety of application, and it's perfect for development, desktop use, or multimedia. And it's not Manjaro or Garuda. Well, that's what we're taking a look at today on eBuzz Central. Hey, everybody, it's Troy. Today, we're taking a look at the newest release of Blue Star Linux, which, in my opinion, is probably the most underrated Arch Linux distribution out there today. Now, if you want to download it, what you're going to want to do is zip on over to SourceForge, and I will be sure to include that link in the description below. You come on over, you've got Blue Star Linux, you've got summary, you've got files. Now, right here on the summary, it says Blue Star Linux is an Arch Linux based distribution built with an understanding that people want and need a solid operating system that provides functionality along with ease of use. It's offered in three editions, which I already covered, and a Blue Star Linux software repository that is maintained in order to provide additional tools and applications when needed or requested. And then it's got a few screenshots down here. And then, of course, your releases. This one was released two days ago. And then if you go over to Files, you can come down here to Distro, and you can download it from right here. It's listed right here, Blue Star Linux, kernel 5.16.8, and then the ISO, and it's a 3.9 gigabyte ISO, and it's got 479 downloads so far. But that's where you get it. I'll be sure to include that link below. We're going to go back to the desktop now. And if you download Blue Star, throw it on a USB, put it into a virtual machine, and boot into it, this is the screen you're met with. You've got a dock down here on bottom, which is your Latte dock. And then over here, you've got your home folder that's right here on your desktop. It covers documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, videos. Now, if you don't want it here or you want to move it, you can. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for now. And then you've got your install Blue Star Linux right here. And then up top, you do have a panel. It's a drop-down panel. It's in the center of the screen. And if you go over here, you've got your down arrow when you pop into that. It's got your notifications, your K-organizer, your clipboard, night color control, and then your lock key status, sound, internet, most recent USB device, battery level, sound, and then, of course, what language you're using. If you right-click on the panel, you can set it to flexible size or you can uncheck it. And you can see right there, everything goes over to the left. I'm going to go ahead and set it back to flexible. And everything moves over here. Then you can add widgets, add a panel, or enter edit mode if you click on that. It brings up edit mode. And over here, you can add widgets. You can add a spacer. You can make the panel height bigger if you want. And then, of course, more options over here. Right now, your panel alignment is in the center. You could go to left or right. And then always visible, auto hide, windows can cover, windows can go below. You've got your regular KDE settings right there. And then if you do want to add widgets or something like that, you can come over and click on Add Widgets, and it'll give you a list of widgets over here you can scroll through. Now, if the widget you're looking for is not here, you can always go over here and click on Get New Widgets and, of course, install them. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, and let's close out of that. And then, of course, you've got a system monitor right here. you got your calculator, and what I like about this calculator, you just click on it, and it's a drop-down calculator. You can use it right here. It doesn't open up in a separate window, and then when you click on it, it goes away. And then your time right here. And then if you click, you've got a drop-down application launcher right here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Then we're going to drop down on the bottom to the dock. You've got show desktop right here. You've got your work areas or your desktop areas right here. Then you've got your file manager, which is Dolphin. Let's go ahead and open it up. And it's open up. I'm going to go ahead and maximize it. And as you can see over here, you've got your usual suspects. And then you've got your home folders right here. Okay, and then, of course, like I've stated in other videos, if there's sections over here that you don't want, you can just right click on those, hide the selection and it disappears. And then if you right click in this open area, you can change your icon sizes if you want. Let's go ahead and bump those to large. You just got a lot of different ways you can customize right here. Coming back over to the right, you can show splits if you want, which gives you two different windows with your home located in them. Now where this comes in handy is if you've got a lot of files you need to transfer from let's say downloads, you can open those up right here, highlight them, 
drag and drop them over here. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to do that. You click yes, and then they're placed in the folder that you want them in. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then, of course, you do have options over here on the hamburger menu, or you do have a search function here that you could search for a specific file that you're looking for. So you've got a lot of different things here and a lot of different tools that you can use in this file manager. Just take some time, learn the file system, and I promise you that if you do, you'll love the power that it gives you. So let's go ahead and minimize that and close. Then if you come back down to the bottom, we do have the console. Let's go ahead and open that up. And what we're going to do on the console real quick is see if they have HTOP installed. And they do have HTOP installed right now on this virtual machine. I have three gigabytes of RAM issued to it. At present, we're using about 891 megabytes of RAM, which I would firmly say is a mid-weight operating system. A lot of you that watch my videos know that there are some XFCE distros out there that run about two or 300. So if you're wanting the eye candy and you want it to look beautiful, you're going to give up some resources. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and close out of that. Then we're going to come back down to bottom. We've got GIMP installed out of the box, which is a good application that makes it real easy to design, create, and also edit pictures. And speaking of easy, have you visited the eBuzz Central store yet? This is the place that makes it easy for you to purchase Linux branded apparel or Linux inspired apparel and accessories, phone cases, mugs, anything that you might be looking for. We've included a lot of new designs lately, and we're wanting to add, you know, three, four designs a week, so that way we get a store that's full of things that people want and people want to buy, whether it be Debian-inspired or whether it be Kali-inspired or just plain old Linux-inspired. The store is coming along. We started out with one product. Now we're up to about seven. But if you would, zip on over, take a look at the store, see if there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please help us out, buy something, show your pride in Linux. And if there's something that's not on there that you would like to see, please drop it in the comment below and let me know. I love having suggestions and I love constructive criticism. So zip on over to eBuzz Central. Now back to Blue Star's desktop. Staying on the bottom, we've also got VLC Media Player. You've got LibreOffice Writer. You've got FileZilla. You've got Thunderbird Mail, Firefox for your web browser. Pigeon Internet Messenger for your internet messaging. And then, of course, System Settings. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we won't spend too much time on the System Settings because if you've watched any of my videos, I've went over KDE quite a bit, and it's easy to use. And what I will do at the end of the video is link a video that I did on the new KDE 5.24, and it shows you everything in this area and how to adjust it, how to change it, and basically customize this operating system the way you want it to look and the way you want to use it. But what I am going to do right off the bat is just show you the main things that you can do. Right now, we're running in a dark theme. If you wanted to switch that to light, you could switch on light, click apply, and it would switch everything over to a light theme. What I'm going to do is go ahead and switch it back to dark. And as you can see, it changes up everything real nicely there, okay? For some reason, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. That has been removed, so we'll go ahead and move this back over. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this real quick. And right here, you can change your wallpaper if you would like. Just click on that. And when your wallpapers load up, you can just go over and pick a different one that you would like, click apply, and it will change it for you, okay? So that's just some quick base settings to look at right there. But like I said, I will link that video at the end of this one, and you can zip on over. It's about 30 minutes of going over nothing but the KDE settings in different ways you can customize those. And then, of course, you have trash down here. Now, if we come back up top, you do have a drop down with all of your applications. You've got development which gives you translation, Cuttlefish, QT Designer, Education. You have Mathematics, LibreOffice Math, Science, LibreOffice Math, Games. You got Card Games, Graphics, Digicam. We've already went over GIMP, Gwynview, Ocular, Internet. You've got FileZilla. You got Firefox, KGit, Conqueror, KTorrent, Amarok on your multimedia, Dragon Player, K3B, VLC Media Player, Office. You've got Calibre, eBook Reader, LibreOffice Suite. Settings, Grub Customizer, iBus, Ice-T, System, you've got Blue Start Installer, you've got the Info Center, you've got Console, Cases Guard, and you have Octopi to install your software. You've got your Pac-Man Log Viewer, Terminal, then Utilities, you've got Disks, FileLite, Kate, Kalu, KDocker, KMouse. I mean, this has plenty of KDE applications out of the box. Then you have Spectacle, Lost and Found, which is your HP Printers. Blue Star Linux, help, please donate, 
power session on and off. And then over here, you have some favorites that you could pin if you wanted to. But that really is just a quick look at Blue Star Linux. Like I said, I believe it's one of the most underappreciated arch distributions out there. It is very clean looking. It is very quick. It's snappy. It makes doing work simple. And if you are like some of the other folks out there that get tired of the Manjaros or the Garudas, this is something you should zip over, download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual machine, and take for a test drive. I'm sure if you do... You will enjoy it, and it will definitely be something you want to install. Let me know if that's something you might do. Drop it down in the comments below. And like I said earlier in the video, please zip on over, take a look at the store. If there's something there that you like, go ahead and pick it up. If there's something that you would like to see in the store, please drop a comment. Let me know what you would like. Before you close the video, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.